and the house of Esau for stubble. The house of Esau for stubble. This place will be destroyed. These Caucasian people will no longer rule the earth, and they will be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord. Go ahead. If you don't believe me, go to Obadiah 1 and 18 and read it for yourself. Right. Read it out. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall be not, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. That's clear. That's not subject to my interpretation. That's verbatim. Right out of the scripture. That's stuff saith the Lord. And that's what your future is, Mr. and Mrs. White Man. This is your future. And you can't get around it. Romans 9 and 13. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. He said he loves Jacob. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. But Esau, the Caucasian race, what did God say about Esau? But Esau have I hated. He hates Esau. He hates Esau. Matter of fact, Let's substantiate that in Malachi 1 and 3. He hates Esau. Did I say that? No, most of you all don't even know God hates. But we're reading this right out of Scripture. And for, for you Christians, that's the New Testament. That's Paul. Right? right. The one you think is more important than your hour shot. That's Paul right. He hates Esau. Nothing you can do about it. But let's substantiate that in the book of Malachi in the Old Testament. The book of Malachi chapter 1 verse 2. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet he said, Where has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. I what Esau? And I hated Esau. God hates, and I hated Esau. Right. Verbatim, right out of the Bible. There it is. Remember, Jacob, that's the 12 tribes of Israel's progenitor, uh, 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 grandson of Abraham, son of Isaac. And what did Jacob say? They were brothers, him and Esau. But Esau sold his birthright. He sold his birthright. And he's been an uh, uh, outcast to the Most High ever since. Bring that up. And he hates him, according to the scripture, not according to me, and he's going to destroy him. Now, a lot of you can't believe that because they, because uh, uh, Michelangelo uh, painted this picture of uh, Caesar Boger, and you think that's some kind of Jesus. And don't forget, the letter J wasn't invented until 1634. That's why we know his real name is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew. Now I know in the modern Hebrew they say uh, uh, um, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach. That's what they say. But you know what? That's just a foul pattern they uh, added. This is the same manipulation of language that they've been so famously celebrated for because they conquer all the world. But we go back to the Paleo Hebrew, the actual language that Yahweh Shai spoke when he walked the earth. And his name was Yahweh Shai. There is no Jesus, because the letter O Jehovah, the letter J wasn't invented to 1634. Get you a King James 1611 Bible, there's not a J in the whole book. Every J is an I. It doesn't say Jesus, it says Isis. Why? Because the letter J wasn't invented in 1611. It's real simple. But you got to do research. you got to understand the etymology of words. Then you got to understand language before you can really understand what's in these scriptures. But if you just go down to the church and give your money and listen to the pastor, and that's just what it is. Let me get Jeremiah 9 and 25. This is, uh, this is pitiful. This is really pitiful. We can do better than this, Israel. And matter of fact, we got to. Our salvation depends on it. Because God, God judges us as a nation, as a people group. Not individually. This is what you must understand. Bring it out, brother. The book of Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 25. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all that are in the utmost borders that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised and all the house of Israel in the heart. Now remember, a third of Israel and the elect, the 144,000, will be based for salvation. The two thirds are going to be destroyed because two thirds of our people will not be called to the truth. Where are these people? Why they walking up and down the street right now? You can see them everywhere. Walking up and down the street in their foolery and foolishness. 
and they're highly, uh, highly, highly weird, and all this crap that they're doing. Give me, uh, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Zachariah, uh, too late, too late. Zachariah, too late. This is what it is. And then, yeah, now, but the good news is, these people are going to take on the punishments that the curses were upon us while we're in the predicament we're in. Now these other nations toward the end are going to be punished as well, along with two-thirds of our people. So you got to get your act together, Israel. You got, matter of fact, give me the standard. Give me Revelation 1 and 3. We got to get the act together. Bring that out, brother. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 8. For thus says the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth touch you toucheth the apple of his eye. So, what is he saying to this Edomite who choked our brother out, uh, Jordan Riley? He said, For he that touches you touches the apple of my eye. This is why Edom is doomed for certain destruction. Look how they treated the children of Israel over the, over the centuries. Not just going back to the British Empire or the Spanish and Portuguese Empire. Going back to Rome, the Roman Empire. Going back to the Greek Empire. We've been fighting these people for centuries as a people group. Most of you all don't even know it. You're so in love with them. I bet y'all were watching this punk over in London getting their uh, crown. I bet y'all was watching that. I purposely missed it, as usual. Because I don't respect their monarchy, and I don't respect that at all. You know how many black and brown people England killed? They wiped out the entire population on the island of Tasmania. Just wiped them out. Go to Tasmania today, south of Australia. Ain't nothing but white people there. They killed every one of them. And y'all gonna watch this punk Charles get crowned. This is ridiculous. This is an insult to you as a people. And we don't and we don't like any of these people uh, uh, in the British monarchy. This is ridiculous. Now, British people, some are cool, that's fine, but their monarchy is not. And don't worry, England, we criticize the government in America too. Because like I said, they've murdered and pillaged here hundreds of millions of people. So all of them are in the same shoe. And they all gonna get uh, the most highest justice. This is what's going to happen, and they all going to be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord. Have nothing to do with my opinion. This is what the, the, their uh, uh, end result is. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Oh, you got to read. What does the scripture say? Blessed is he that readeth. You got to open the Bible and read. Comprehend and implement. That's what you got to do. Turn off the basketball game. Turn off the, the soap opera. Turn off the movie. Open the book and do what? Read. You have to read. And that's why many of you walking around don't even know who you are. Don't even know who your ancestors are. You insult your ancestors. You don't even know you come from the loins of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You over here acting like you're Hispanic. Like you bought property of Spain. You black people in America acting like you're part of this crap that just went on in England with Charles. This is ridiculous. Man, you so far above that. Matter of fact, give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You so far above that, it ain't even funny. But how could you possibly know that unless you open the scripture and study for yourself? Your enemy will never tell you the solution to your problems. They only cause your problems. They won't give you the solution. Bring that out, brother. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art holy people. Holy means separate. We're a separate people from the others. Holy people unto the Lord thy God. That's why we were given the laws and they were not. Bring on, brother. The Lord thy God has chosen me to be a special people. A special people. Holy means separate and special in the eyes of the Most High. Until himself. Above all people, or equal to, because there's equality on the earth. Above all people, above all people, above you all, above the white man, above the Asian man, above the Arab man. Nothing y'all can do about it. This stuff says the Lord. I didn't interpret that. Reading it verbatim. That are upon the face of the earth. Everybody on the face of the earth, we're above you. Now. That don't mean nothing unless you start by uh, following these law, statute, commandments. 
it don't mean nothing to be above because you'll be brought down. But because God chose you, because he loved you over them like we read in Romans 9 and 13, like we read in Malachi 3 or 1 and 3, because God chose you and loves you, he puts you on high and the others will be beneath you. Right now you're being punished. That's why the others are above you, ruling over you. But that's going to change soon as the end days come and Yahweh Shai will come back. How's it going to come back? Uh, how's Yahweh Shai going to come back? Because Christianity will tell you uh, 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 Jesus, Jesus Cristo Blanco, which is not true according to the Bible, Revelation 1 and 13, not true according to history. However, However, we know Cristo Blanco, uh, 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 Jesus Cristo is Negro. We know his name's not Jesus, right? And if you think about it, it comes from the Latin term Jesus. Well, what was the Greek god of all the gods? His name was Zeus. That's where you get the Jesus from, Zeus. This is ridiculous. You believe that? Come on, man, you gotta do better in terms of understanding language, understanding history. It's that simple. We gotta do better than that. But the real Yahweh Shai, his real name in, in the Paleo Hebrew, is coming back. And how is he coming back? We're gonna read out the scripture how he's coming back. Don't, it's not about what I think. Let's see if he's coming back with daffodils and, and, and roses and big kisses for everybody. How is he coming back? God. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. He did not come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. This is Christ talking. This is Yahweh Shai talking. I didn't come to send peace. I'm coming back with a sword. Because this is an evil place that must be destroyed. Oh, uh, for I am come to send a man of various against his father. And the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foe shall be there in his own household. You got to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. Matter of fact, give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and uh, 2. You got to follow, you gotta follow these laws, statutes, and commandments and do exactly what the scriptures tell you to do. Not because I want you to, but because your creator commanded you to. And that's all you should be concerned with. Y'all will follow uh, this Edomite's laws to stay out of jail, but you can't follow the laws of the Most High to save your soul? Something wrong with that. Bring it out, bro. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Christ is the, or Shai is the head of every man. Now, he's still with Israel, but in the heathen nations, he's the head of all of them. Go on. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is her man. The head of the man is Christ. And the head of Christ is God. So there's a hierarchy. There's Yahweh, there's Shai, there's the man, there's the woman, there's the children. All these women running around with this feminist crap, that goes against scripture, period. I don't care what your political stance on it is. It goes against scripture. Know your place. Your place is to serve your husband. That's your place. Whether you like it, agree with it, understand it, accept it or not, I could care less. You got to deal with the most high to, uh, uh, to combat that. You don't have to worry about me or what I say or think, but that's what the scripture says. So the sisters in Israel, you gotta be in unity with your husband in terms of being behind them so that we could all be one family because that's the basis of one nation. That's what you gotta do. Well, you got a question? Are you listening? You got a question? Oh, I do. Did you just say the woman has to accept her husband? I said she's underneath her husband. She has to serve her husband. She's her husband's helper, according to the scripture. Not according to your understanding. Wait, which scripture? I just read it in the New No, in the New Testament, First Corinthians uh, three and uh, eleven and three and three. That's where I read it. Yeah, First Corinthians. That's the New Testament. Chapter eleven, verse three. Yeah. 
Book, chapter, verse. Yeah. It says, it says what? Read it again, brother. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Christ is the head of every man. Okay. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. So there's a hierarchy. There's God, there's Christ, there's man, there's woman, there's child. That's the order. That's the order. We are now in an evil society that goes against that order. And that's why a lot of people are having problems because what are they doing? They're attacking family. That's the structure of family according to the New Testament of all the Christians. That's the structure of family. And because it's being under attack, the people are in disarray. That's why homosexual running rampant. Transgender, uh, transgenderism running rampant in spite of the fact gender dysphoria is a mental illness in spite of oh uh, well, yeah I love my people I hate those who murdered us and now uh, you look like one of them yeah matter of fact you are one of them you are in your woman so why should I love you when you rape rob and pillage and murder my people for 500 years all the way up into choking the brother out on the train in New York just yesterday. Why would I love you? Give me one reason to love you. I'm listening. Crickets. Of course. Of course. Anything else? I didn't accuse him of anything. Give me uh, uh, Isaiah uh, uh, 14 and 7. I didn't accuse him of anything. What I'm saying is, okay, I'll tell you what I'm saying. Let me clarify it. I'm saying the blood that runs through his veins is the same blood that ran through the veins of his father, his grandfather, his great-grandfather, all the way back to the people who commit genocide against them. And I don't have to go back hundreds of years to a slave plantation. The, the brother just, uh, Jordan Riley, just got choked out on the train yesterday. You're still doing it to this very day. So you've been doing it for 500 years, for 5,000 years. So now let, let's see what God says about that. Bring that out. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. This is this God talking. Prepare slaughter means mass killing for his children. For his children. That's the children of those who've done those acts. For the iniquity of their father or the iniquity of those who birthed him, who birthed them, who birthed them, who birthed them. The blood in his vein is the same blood that's in all those murderous veins. And I, they are our enemies and we have no reason to love them. Because he's Esau. Yeah, Esau, do you know who Esau is? According to the Bible? I know, I know. I know, my brother. The so-called Caucasian race. Give me, uh, again, for him, give me Romans 9 and 13. Let's see what God Almighty says about Esau in the New Testament. All right? To appease all the Christians. Let's see what God says about Esau. Bring it out, brother. As it is written, the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it's written in the Old Testament in the book of Malachi. As it is written. Jacob have I loved. He loves Jacob. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. Black, Hispanic, and Native American people. Yes, my brother, yes. But Esau Hell yeah. have I Hell hated. Yeah. If God hates, but Esau Hell have I, I hated. hated. They didn't teach me that in the Christian church. You mean God actually hates some people that he created? But Esau have I hated. That's why he's my enemy. God hates them. What reason do I have to love him? And then he's done nothing but pillage, rape, rob, and pillage my people. Stole all the land, made everybody work free for 500 years. Man, come on, man. I have no reason to love him. I have no reason to love him. Yes, Esau, is, he's the devil the Bible speaks of that walks on the earth to and fro. Get Genesis 25. Yeah, but oh, before you get that, let me edify that. Go back to uh, Leviticus 19.17. I'm going to show you who you have to forgive. Because if you don't forgive, God won't forgive you. Amen, brother. Right? So you have to forgive. Let's see, let's see who God said to forgive. Bring it up. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. We shall not hate our brother 
in thine heart. In our heart, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We have to rebuke our neighbor when they do it wrong. And not suffer sin upon him. Not suffer sin upon our neighbor. Now who's our brother and our neighbor? Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. The children of thy people. That's who your brother and neighbor is. It's not talking about the other nations who've been rape, robbing and killing you for thousands of years. It said clearly in the book of Leviticus, your, your neighbor is the children of thy people. Your brother is the children of the. You know what the problem is? That, well, you can shake your head till it fall off your shoulders. I'm reading the Bible verbatim. I'm not putting any interpretation on it. I read you, thus saith the Lord. Bring it up one more time. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Amen. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. The children of thy people is who your brother and neighbor is. That's the problem. I just read it to you. It's the people who are of your father's mind. That doesn't mean a day. Hey, Ak, Ak, read the first verse. Read the first verse. Read the first verse. Leviticus first 19 verse. and 1. Yeah. 19 and 1. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. That's who the context is referring to. That's who it is. You brothers, are you Hispanic? Are you Mexican? I am. Those are my brothers. Those are my brothers. Those are my brothers. Mi hermano. Mi hermano. But the white man is not included in that. He's the one who raped and robbed their women and took their land. He raped and robbed us, put us in a slave ship where we were defecating, ministrating, and urinating on each other for three months. Hitler. And you, I, Hitler what about it? So what? All so right. what? That is a brother. Do you know? No, he's not. No, 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 he's not. He was, he was Can I edify that? Okay. Jewish people self-identify as Jewish. Israelites. Okay, hold on. Hold on. They don't call themselves Israelites. They call themselves Israeli. Israeli means one who occupies the land of Israel. We're Israelites, meaning we come from the loins of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's two different things. Next thing. No, it's not semantics. It's point of fact. Matt, let me no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I just, okay, can I ask you a question? Why did I just read God hates Esau since he called us to love all people? That's right. I don't know what you're talking about. Bring it out, King. That's New Testament. Romans is the New Testament. Bring it out. You don't even know you. I, no, I, uh, we went, bring it back in Romans. Bring it back. Romans, no, go back to Romans 9 and 13. This is Paul writing, the hero of Christians. This is Paul writing. Paul does not give us a differentiation. Let's, well, let's see. Let's see how long you're going to be. Yeah, but he said God hates, he said God hates, he said God hates himself. Uh, Romans 9 verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. Hated! But the white man I hated. Right, that's Jesus right. Thus saith the Lord. <laughs> we already got that in Gen no. uh, uh, Genesis 25. Oh. All right, this is uh, the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. We got it, my brother. We got it. And after these, Adam also. Whom thou made his Lord of all creatures, of him come we all. So we all come from Adam, all of humanity. Let's finish the first. I agree. I agree. Let's finish the first. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Meaning the Jews also, the Israelites, because that's it said that people whom thou hast chosen. Okay, the chosen people are who? Come on, wow. And it's a lot you don't know, apparently. All these have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. For the chosen people's sake. Oh, okay. As for the other people. As for the other people who are not the chosen. Which also come of Adam. Also come from Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are nothing. Right. That's what God said. They are nothing. Bring it out. Bring it again. As for the other people. That's you. Which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Right. Go on, keep it. But be like unto a spit. Be like on a spit. That's your value in life, wow. human. And by the way, the word human means a man of you. If you have no color, it's not talking about you. Go on. And has, has likened the abundance of them 
unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Liken your value to a drop falling from a vessel full of liquid. You have no value. You're not a human. You are actually Neanderthal. That's what you are. Bring it but, up. What? Yes, my brother. Yes. No, that was a different. That was uh, Second Ezra. That was Ezra. But the other one we just read in Romans, where he said he hated all Caucasian people. Did, 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 did we stutter? I don't see. Well, I don't care what you believe. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay, fine. All right, fine. That's what. Okay, hold on. You can, you can say that all you want. No, he didn't. Give me. Give me Matthew 20, 15 and 24. Let's see what Christ said out of his own mouth. Let's see what Christ says out of his own mouth. Let's see that. Who did Christ come for? Did he come for everybody, including some punk white folks who killed everybody? Or did he just come for the nation of Israel? Let's see. But he answered and said, this is red letter. What does that mean? It's Christ's words. He answered and said, why don't you listen instead of being prepared to talk? You got two ears and one mouth. Try and listen. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, New Testament. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ only came for the house of Israel. They lied to you in the Christian church. That is in Matthew, the New Testament. That's red letter. That's out of Christ's own words. Now, am I going to believe you or am I going to believe Christ? I'm going to believe Christ. Excuse me? Where do we get the house of Israel from? Abraham. Abra Hold on. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That is not the house of Israel. The house of Israel are the progenitor from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. Each one of them was the uh, progenitor of a uh, different line from Judah to Manasseh to Zebulon to Issachar. It's right here. All of those are the sons of Jacob. I'm taught that's what that's what the Jews are and the Israelites are. That's that's what they are. That's what they are. Uh, yeah, I've read the whole book of Numbers. So what? Yeah, every single name. So what? And apparently you have not, or you have serious reading comprehension issues because I'm telling you what it says. You're just pontificating Christian doctrine, but Christian doctrine is not found in the scripture. That's why you celebrate Christmas and all this other crap that's not in the scripture. You don't know what you're talking about. You really do. But I understand because you're Esau, you don't want it to be thus. But you know what? Too bad. Too bad. Because the scriptures say different. And we're going to believe the scriptures every time. Genesis 25. Look at Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. So two twins in the uh, womb of uh, Rebecca. Well, you got Cain and Abel, right? No, that, that's, no, no. See, that shows how much you don't know. <laughs> this is Rebecca, the wife of Isaac, okay? The son of Abraham, okay? Way after. Okay? Way after it doesn't, you don't even... You don't know nothing about Adam and Eve. Trust me. Trust me. What were the Israelites called before Abraham? What were they called back in the time of Adam and Eve? Let's see how much you know. Or don't know, I should say. The question is, back in the time of Adam and Eve, and, and going into uh, uh, the sons of them and so forth, all the way to Noah, all the way to Abraham, what were they called in the Bible before they were called Israelites? Oh, I'm listening. Now, you, you're so well read, you know more than I do. Oh, so I'm listening. Okay, they were called the sons of God. That's what they were called. You know, you know less than nothing about this. Bring out Esau. Come. And, and when her days were to be delivered, were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. There were twins in Rebecca's womb, the wife of Isaac. And the first came out red. The first came out red like you. Devoid of color. You're not white because you're not the same color as uh, a design here. You are red. Hey, you, you, bro. I'm brown. No, bro, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. Look at this. Yeah, I am. Yeah. No, you ain't um, yeah, I am. I'm light brown. Your, your, your butt is red. 
like a lobster on the beach. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, all, and the first thing I read, all over like a hairy garment. It came out red, all over like a hairy garment. I can see hair all the way to your neck. Talking about you. This is describing you and your people. That's what this is describing. Go on, brother. All over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name Esau. Oh, are you hairy too? That, no, I'm not. Three of you, you know what? Not like you. I bet you got hair on your back. <laughs> like, not like you. I know you do. I know you do. And you know what else? You like to call black people monkeys. But guess what? I didn't say you. I'm talking about your people. But guess what? Yeah, yeah, you do. But guess what? Recess monkey in terms of DNA is only found in white people and not found in black people. That, they're the only homo sapien, homo sapien on the earth. <laughs> you have Neanderthal, you have recess monkey in your bloodline. You are Esau who they talk about in the scripture. Bring That's that who out. you are. We are not. That's who you are. We are Jacob. We are descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who we are. And God said, what? Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What did you do? Name one place on the planet where your people went to and bought love and peace. You conquered, killed, raped, robbed, and pillaged everywhere you went. There's not a continent on earth, including Europe, that you went to and didn't wipe out populations, dominate everybody. You did that everywhere. And you can't say you didn't because we know history. We can read. We know history. So everything you say is a viewpoint. Bye. You are Esau. We are not. That's what it is. And that's why I addressed that Edomite going down the escalator with his woman after he was flipping this middle finger to us. What is that? You cannot earn the love of Christ, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> firstly, you should be more preoccupied with the love of God because him and Christ are not the same. That's the first core problem you have with Christianity. So you're worshiping a false God in terms of worshiping Christ as the most high. Secondly, excuse me, excuse me, you're not listening. I said Christ is not the most high God. He's the son of the most high God. That's first. We can bring out many scriptures where Christ himself said that. But here's the point. Here's the point. The bottom line is you were created to be destroyed. You were created to serve Israel. But when Israel went astray, then you were created to punish Israel. And you did a stupendously excellent job of punishing everybody. Because you're killed, you're raped, you're robbed, you're murdered. That's who your people are. That's who you are. You're a murderer. What? Yeah. 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 So numbers one and eighteen. So. Okay. Okay. Now let me show you. Yeah. Oh God. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna get that right here. Give me numbers one and eighteen. This will answer your question. In the book of Numbers, chapter one, verse eighteen, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. No, but his mother's Puerto Rican Mexican. By the house of their father. It don't matter what your mother is. All you get from her is mitochondrial DNA. The seed line comes from the father. The bloodline comes from the father. Have you never studied biology in school? This is the scriptural proof. I can also give you biological proof. You are what your father is. And you are Deutschmann, which is German for a German man. Or Eidish. You are all of that. That's all you are and all you ever will be. I don't care if your mother was Cicely Tyson. It wouldn't matter, only you'd be a little more dark. But you are a white man. You are Esau. You are the devil the Bible speaks of. That's who you are. And that's what all you know. Let me ask you something. Do you speak any German? Do you know what a concentration schlager is in German? That's a concentration camp. What was the first concentration camp since you brought up Hitler? It was not. It was in Africa. It was in Namibia in 1903 when you all were down there murdering Hamites. You don't even know that. It's his story, only written by the conqueror. What? You cannot be saved. You were created to be destroyed. 
you created to punish the children of Israel if they went astray, and you were created uh, uh, to serve Israel. That's all it is. Go get your money back from the collection plate at the Christian church. They lied to you. They took your money, and there it is. And he could walk off being said, but you know what? That's Esau. Well, uh, uh, Proverbs 28 and 1. Proverbs 28 and 1. We got to bring it out. That's Esau. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous is bold as a lion. So what? The, uh, he comes in the volume of the book. He didn't say, I come in the volume of the New Testament. Show me one book that you can read two thirds to the end of the book and understand the whole book. You will fail every course in a college. Are you kidding? The book, you have to go from the beginning to the end. You have to go from Genesis to Revelation, include the Apocrypha, to understand the essence of the book. You cannot understand it only reading the New Testament. That's ridiculous. Huh? That if you can think you got love for me, that's great. That's great. But I got to go with what the Most High said. Bring it out. This is Isaiah chapter 49, verse uh, 22. Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring their sons and their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be our nursing fathers, and their queens our nursing mothers. Now, this is God. Are you sorry for what your people did? Enslaving and murdering, rape, robbing, pillaging everybody. Are you sorry for what they did? You're not sorry for what the white man did to the rest of the people on the earth. I'm asking you a question personally. Are you sorry? We just read in uh, 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 Isaiah 14 chapter that you are responsible for the iniquity of your fathers. You have the same blood in your veins that they had in theirs. And I'm just, and furthermore to that, to make it you personally, you are benefiting from what they did to us. You stay, you walk on this land, give me numbers 35 and 33, uh, I believe it is. You walk on this stolen land, there's blood on this land. You murdered 77 million native people. You raped their women. You took their babies and just chopped them up. All the stuff that I ain't even talk about what you did to us, feeding our babies the alligators. But you did all this so you can have all this wealth and walk around America on top. That's the legacy of your people. And don't forget it. Bring it out, brother. The book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33, is what God said. So he shall not pollute the land. This land's polluted and will fall with the innocent blood of 77 million, not counting the 100 million that you killed since the Africans came here. They cloaked the brother of the New York subway as of yesterday. They counted. So he shall not pollute the land where you are. For blood is defiled with the land. Blood defiled with the land. In this case, innocent blood. Listen. And the land cannot be cleansed without the blood that is shed therein. God said, We cannot cleanse this innocent blood on the land that's in, but by the blood of him that shed. But by your blood and your people's blood, because you shed that blood. That's the only way the land will be clean. That's the problem. And you don't comprehend it because it's not for you. You can read whatever you like. It says we give on the scripture that says that that Yahweh or Christ was a white boy. Find out in the scriptures we give a thousand dollars right now. You know why we make a statement like that? Because it's not in there. Read to him, brother. Read to him Revelation 1 and 13. I may read what Christ looked like now. And we're gonna see if this 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 was Caesar Bolshev. He was part of the Bolshev family. He was the homosexual lover of Michael D'Angelo, who who beat him and also uh made him out of the mission. That's who actually paid him the first. Uh Michael Angelo. These two homosexual artists in Renaissance Italy. Well, no, he made sculptures and so forth. And he painted the 16th chapter, did he not? I was at the back. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. Bring that up, brother. Now, we're going to read what Christ actually looked like in the Bible. Not anyone's opinion. Let's see if this matches this 
homosexual white boy who who was incestuous mother of his sister and, and killed his own brother. He's painting the faces of, of God. See God right there? Yahushua? Brown. He's painted it in white. That's Michelangelo. But first, Leonardo da Vinci painted this first. Bring it up. Listen to this. This is what Christ looked like according to the Bible, not according to some European crap. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot. He had the seven candlesticks, which is here. He uh, had a garment down to his foot, and a girdle, a belt with the baths with a golden girdle. He had the golden girdle like a belt right around his waist. Listen to this, he saw, listen. His head and his hair, his head and his hairs were white like wool, or woolly and white. Does this man have woolly hair or stringy hair like a dog? And it's not white, it's brown. That's white as snow. That's white as snow going. His eyes were like a flame of fire. His eyes were not blue, they were red as a flame of fire from being a wine burger. Go on. And his feet are going to find grass. Now, the color of your feet is going to be the same color as the rest of your body. The color of his feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? For let us read Jesus' words. Are we going to bring him or are we going to bring Christ's words? They mean Matthew 15 and 24. He's saying, no, he's saying them all day. Because Christ didn't come for everybody. He didn't die for everybody. That's the wrong thing. Got it? All right, where's it at? Point to it. Hey, you see this? You see this? Hey, you see this? That's red letters. That's Christ talking. This is Christ talking. What did Christ say to him? But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He's only here for the Israelites. This is stuff said of the Lord. You can believe whatever the crap Christianity taught you, but we believe what the Bible says only. All of them are not so you know the Bible is correct. We love and respect all of our brothers. So our brothers are our brothers. But you are the white man. I'm already, but I'm not ready. Let's be careful. Okay. Okay. Uh, get that. I want to bring this last verse to you real quick. Because he keeps saying something against the Bible. You got it? Come on. Uh, I saw it in verse 3. For what is something I believe? Shall that unbelief make the faith of God without effect? See, you I believe in what the Bible said. God forbid. Yeah, let God be true. Let God be true. Let every man a liar. Let every man a liar. That includes you, Esau. There it is. And all of your. Eurocentric Christian crap that's not found in the Bible is a bunch of lies. It's real simple. It's real simple. We believe the dove said the Lord. The Lord is a, a, a Judite. Matter of fact, let's get that uh, Hebrews uh, seven fourteen. Yo yo yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, one at a time. <laughs> No reason to. Uh, not, it's not about you. I'm edifying my people and using you as an example. That's why. The book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. Where it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Christ comes from Judah. Those are black people. It's real simple. It's real simple. And we're just using you to edify people to let Israel know that white people don't know what you think they know. They don't know nothing. This is the point. They know less than nothing. And don't believe their foolish Christian doctrine which comes from Europe. They don't know what they're talking about. Read the Bible like it said in uh, uh, Revelation 23. 2015 and 24. 15 and 24. Anyway, I said 15, verse 24. So that's going to do it for us, and we're going to bring up our next powerful speaker, Priest Sabat, who's going to edify the nation of Israel.
Bible said he prophesied as he could, as he commanded us, good, and the breath came into us, good, and they lived and stood up upon their feet. That's what we're doing now. We're living and standing up upon our feet. Come on. And exceeding, exceeding God. Great army. Exceedingly great army. That's what you see in that. That's why fear is coming into you. Because you see in a spiritual army now, but the physical army is going to come soon. Like me, King. Isaiah 52, verse 1. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength. Give me 1 uh, Corinthians 15, 34. Read. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength. And that's what we're doing right now. We're awakening, awakening. Put on our strength. Come on. Osiah. Osiah. Put on that beautiful garment. You know what I'm saying? Put on that beautiful garment. That's not only talking about the regalia. That's talking about the spiritual garment. Put back on the mind of your house shot. Put back on the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Put back on as the elect of God. Right? Come on. Oh, Jerusalem. Go ahead. The holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into these the uncircumcised. And no more going to come into these uncircumcised. Go ahead. And the unclean. Go ahead. Shake thyself from the dust. What did Lord tell him? Shake thyself from the dust. The Lord says, shake ourselves from the dust, man. Wake up. The dust represents the lower state. Like Adam, like man was in the beginning. But the Lord said he raised up man from the dust of the ground. Meaning he gave him his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's what the Lord is telling us now. Shake ourselves from the dust. Get rid of the darkness that we're in. Get rid of the lies. Shake yourself from the dust. That's what we're doing right now, man. We are waking it and we're shaking, we're uh, shaking that dust off us, that low dust mistake. We're coming and shaking that off now and coming back to the commandments of the Lord. Go ahead. And sit down, O Jerusalem. And what? And sit down, O Jerusalem. What? Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. The Lord said, loose ourselves from the bands of our neck. You're not going to put us in slavery no more, so-called white men. All the rape, robbery, and murder and destruction you did to us, you're not doing it anymore. But you're not doing it no more. We're going to rise up as a nation of people and come back. And now, the Lord said, we're going to tread upon your neck in that day. Right? So what they taught you in the churches, what they taught you in these religious institutions, it's all lies. Read, King. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 34. Awake to righteousness. The Lord told us to do. Awake to righteousness. We just read that in Isaiah 52. Awake, awake. Right? The Lord told Israel to awake. Come on. And sin hey, not. Hey, hey, brother, what? And Venmo. sin not. The Lord says, sin not. Go ahead. For some have not the knowledge of God. The Lord says, some have not the knowledge of Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat Shabbat. So the Lord told us to awake and sin not. That's what's happening with Israel right now. So that's why you see the brothers bringing it out so fiery, man. I'm happy, man. That shows that us brothers uh, before did our job. Right, the Lord is, but each one teach one. We're raising our brothers more and more to come out here and rebuke these lies, man. You've been taught lies. That's why a lot of you come up here and you look at us strange. You say, I can't believe so-called black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian men are standing up like this. Standing firm and bold for the word of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. The brother broke him down so bad, man, he saw her puppy eyes, man. Her puppy, can I talk to you on the side? No, you cannot. Now you're going to try to come with your lies, man. No, no, you cannot. Because you're not going to get a different answer. You're not going to get a different answer. You're going to get the same cuts, man. Like you're going to come in and I said, I said, a white man is for you, man. Let, let me touch you over here, buddy. Maybe I can get in your ear on the side over here. Maybe you can do a side deal. There's no side deals for salvation, man. No side deals for salvation. But the Bible is clear and cut. That's salvation. Give me St. John 4, 22. You are the nations, man. Oh, that's the New Testament. Listen, the New Testament gives you the truth, man. Just like the old. The New Testament and the Old Testament go hand in hand with each other. Right. If you got, if you sit out here, man, we will give you a lesson. We can go to the damn sun come up. Show you the New Testament and the Old Testament work hand in hand. St. John 4, 22. Right, you got it, read, King. Book of John, chapter 4, verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. Yahweh shall say, ye worship, ye know not what. God. We know what we want. We possess him. We know what we worship. God. For salvation. For salvation. Come on. Is of the Jews. Salvation is of the Israelites, man. The Jews. Right? Salvation is for us. The kingdom was given to us. Now, all you other nations, you're going to bow down to the God of Israel. But we are going to be the chosen and we are going to be the rulers. Give me Revelation uh, 21, 24. You are the nations. Yes, you coming in the kingdom. You're going to be right there with us, but you're going to be bowing down to us. You're going to be subject to us. 
You will be in captivity under us. You are not going to have equal salvation and be the chosen people with the Israelites. We're going to rule forever and ever our money. Right? No more poverty. No more black on black crime. No more gang banging. Right? None of that stupidity anymore. You're going to repent, keep the commandments of God, and come back to these law, statutes, and commandments. Greek, the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 24. So like you no know, more getting choked in a New York City subway. Right, you so good white people, you love that goddamn chokehold, man. You love putting that chokehold. Choke the hell out of the brother Jordan Neely. Now, I know that brother too. The brother used to always be in Times Square where we'd be out there teaching and be doing this Michael Jackson impersonation. We see that brother for years, man. And you choked the brother to death. The brother fell on hard times, asked for some food and some help on a train. Now the white man said, I'm tired of you niggas begging. According to reports, they said the man was acting erratic, but he was no threat to no one. He was just angry about not having no food, nothing to drink, uh, about suffering. But they said he was no threat to no one. But you choke him out, have two other men hold his arm down and kill the brother. But that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, why it's all right? Because there's going to be vengeance for that. Yeah, one of them was so-called Hispanic brother. But right? held the brother down while the white man choked him to death, man. He put that marine chokehold on him. All them different tactics you learn in the military, and he used it on the brother, man. And the brother wasn't training on that the right spirit, so you don't know how to get out of that. Get out of that and choke the damn white boy. And if he was trained and had the right spirit, he would know how to get up out of that and choke the hell out of the damn white boy, reversing on him. But the brother's erratic. He's not trained. He don't have the right spirit. So the devil chokes him to death and kill him, man. He chokes him to death and kill him. But that's all right there because there's going to be vengeance. There's going to be vengeance for all the enemies of the Lord in these last days. Read, okay. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 24. And the nations of them which are saved. The nations are going to be saved. The nations of them which are saved, God, shall walk in the light of it. Or what in the light of what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. They're going to have to bow down to the true light, which is the word of God. They're going to have to bow down and keep these laws and be our captives and our slaves. Come on. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. All the leaders and kings of this time, on this side of this earth, they all going to come and bow before the men of the law. Right, like, come on. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. So they're going to bring all that glory and that honor of the nations into it. All nations will bow before the children of Israel. All you nations. So you're going to be saved, but you're going to save to serve the Israelites. You don't get to rule and be over the earth like we do. But you black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, in your Christian churches, you want to bring everybody along. Give me up Amos 9 and 12. You want to bring everybody along, but no, the white man and the other nations, the so-called white man, the red man, like the brother brought out so eloquently, the red man have to bow down to the 12 tribes of Israel along with the other nations, and they're going to serve us forever and ever our money. Whether you like and understand it, accept it, believe it or not. Now, a lot of you say, like the brother earlier, he's going to say, well, yeah, you teaching the truth, but what about all people? Well, then you don't know the truth. If you say we teaching the truth, why the hell are you asking about all? What about all people? All people outside of the Israelites are going to bow down to us? That's for all people? That's what you mean? But no, you're talking about all people. That's the problem with you so-called black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian. you too worried about everybody else. And nobody gives a damn about you. They don't give a damn about you because they choking your ass to death in the New York City subway. And y'all should be familiar with that out here in Los Angeles, man. Remember that chokehold they was doing on y'all back in the 70s and 80s? They talking about, well, it's too many, it's too many uh, sherm addicts, it's too many people addicted to PCP in, in uh, LA, so we gotta come up with a new way to subdue them. This is what that LAPD claimed. They said they didn't know how to subdue the guys that was um, high off of sherm. They said them guys are strong, yeah, which is true. They said, we got to come up with a new way to subdue these guys because they're high on sherm and we can't control them. So they came up with this chokehold. No, you know what that was? Let's make an excuse for modern day lynchings. So you start choking brothers all over LA. And the LAPD, their excuse was, oh, he was high on sherm. 
Then uh, 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 families was coming and saying, he, he didn't take no sherm. There wasn't no sherm, man. They started using it as an excuse to choke black men to death. It was a modern day of lynching. That's all it was. It was a modern day lynching. Go back in the history of L.A. and check it out. Richard Pryor even spoke about it. The, uh, they spoke about it on, a, on L.A. When you read, look at that documentary, L.A. 92. They spoke about that chokehold that the damn LAPD was doing. The excuse they was using was niggas was high on shirt. We don't know how to control these wild niggas high on shirt, so we're going to choke these niggas to death. Then they start uh, having traffic stops and regular stuff and choking brothers to death. They said, wait a minute. My cousin wasn't on shirt. Hey, you just killed him. And that's what's going on right now, man. If you notice, man, that ain't nothing but a modern day lynching. They love choking the hell out of black men. All right, Eric Gartner. Yeah, Eric Gartner. Um, um, what's the guy uh, and, uh, all the riots was happening over? Uh, no, not Rodney King, the other brother, recently. In uh, Minnesota. George Floyd. George Floyd, right? George Floyd, right? Even he saw it. You love choking niggas to death, man. You love to choke the black man to death. And the guy in New York, the brother of Jordan Neely, that got choked to death in New York, that white guy was an ex-Marine. And what he said, he took it in his, this nigga's erratic, and, and he needs to calm down. And, you, and what do you do? You choke him to death, man. Give me Isaiah 315 before we read the other ones. Give me Isaiah, the, the book of Isaiah, the third chapter, the 15th verse. All right, so once again, another black man lynched, lynched in public, and nobody does nothing about it. My thing is, where are you thugs, man? Where are the gangsters? Why do we never? We can never get none of you gangsters. None of you gangsters, we can never get you when it's time to stand up for the people. When the cops are killing and murdering us, where the gangsters at? But you're a gangster when it comes to killing another black or Latino man. you such a gangster then. you so hard. I want to know, where are the gangsters when the police are killing us, when the white supremacists are killing us? Where are you gangbangers and gangsters at now? You niggas are cowards, man. Stop it. You're not hard, you're not tough, you're a coward. You're actually scared and afraid. That's why you kill your own people. That's actually a spirit of fear on you. And you got to, you think you hard and gangster and tough. That's really a spirit of fear and self-hatred. That's what it is. It's a spirit of fear and self-hatred. Where's that, 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 this damn ratchet ass female rapper from New York, a uh, Scarlet? Where the hell is she at now? I thought she said, don't cut the fuck in New York. Don't cut the fuck in New York. Don't cut it in New York. Why you didn't tell a white boy that? Why you didn't tell a Marine that, that choked your scar lip? You in the bloods from the Bronx. Why don't you in the bloods from the Bronx go? Why don't y'all go and get the white boy, the racist white boy that choked the brother to death? And tell him that fucked up from New York. You niggas are a bunch of ignoramuses, man. Your fight is against the wrong, your fight is the wrong fight. But it's so ignorant as hell. All this ratchet, wow, you so about that life. I bet none of you are step. When you look at the protests in New York, 75, 80% of the protests was Edomites. That was white. You niggas ain't even strong for the protests. That goes to show you care nothing about your own people, man. But I bet, I bet if there was some niggas getting killed on TikTok, that I have a million damn views. I bet if it was some ratchetness on, on uh, Instagram, if there was some chick shaking her ass, her funky behind, if it was an OnlyFans page, you niggas would be up there truly. But you can't even show up to the damn protest, man. The damn protest, the predominantly, the protest is the damn Edomites. But this was made up. This was, and a lot of my agents, man, a lot of men up the Asian provocateurs. So don't, care, don't give us that gangster stuff, man. Don't give us that you saw about that life. You put that work in. You niggas is soft at the end of the day, man. And you actually scared little cowards and fearful and self-hating ignoramuses, man. That's all you are. You're never there. I can never see you gangsters when something happens to our people, man. You think you're like a damn, you can hear a pin drop. You never know where. But as soon as it's time to ride on a ride or die on another black or Latino man, you right there. You got all the ammunition, you got extra guns, you got the 40 cow, you got the chopper, you got the you got everything. You got the AR, everything. But when it comes to fight to stand up for your people, you're nowhere to be found. 
It's a damn shame, man. Isaiah 315 again. Read that, King. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 15. Matthews 11 and 12. What mean ye that he beat my people to pieces? Yeah, what mean ye that you beat Israel to pieces, choke Israel to death? Come on. And grind the faces of the poor. You continue to grind the faces of the poor. You know why the white man does this? Because he wants to get away with it. And it's an average Joe white man. This some cocker just ride on the train or the subway. Black man, yo, I, uh, I, I'm white, I'm white, and I say so. I'm white, and I say so, so I can choke this nigga to death and get away with it. Because I'm white, and I say so. Sister, that's my sister, yeah. The book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist, from the days of John the Baptist, good. Until now, until now, good. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence. The kingdom of heaven represents the people. That's why Christ said, Behold, the kingdom is within you. So the kingdom, it represents the people. We suffer violence. But come on. Uh, lucky. Uh, and notwithstanding, uh, he that... No, 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 no. We didn't get to take the time. Stay with me. Matthew 11 and 12. We didn't get from the top. Read. Uh, Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist... And from the days of John the Baptist, God... Until now, until now, God, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, God. And the violence taken by force. And the violence taken by force, God. For all the prophets and the law prophesied unto John. All the prophets and the law prophesied unto John, God. And if we will receive it, this is Elias. That's what it's something else, but a regeneration. But it said the violent take it by force. From the days of John the Baptist, and even beyond, even beyond, even way before John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven represents the Israelites, and we suffer violence, and the violent take us by force, man. Right? The violent take us by force. So we've been suffering violence as a nation of people throughout all generations. Throughout all generations, we've been suffering violence. Now, in 2023, in May of 2023, the first week of May of 2023, you black men are still getting choked to death. There's, you're still getting choked to death. Give me Psalms 55, 19. You're still getting choked to a nigga slipping, son. All I see coming down by LA News uh, timeline, shooting here, drive by shooting. Six people shot. Six people shot in LA. Two people shot in Long Beach. That is a shot over here. That is a shot in South Central. That is a shot in Inglewood. That's all you see down the damn timeline. Because you only gangsters when they come to each other. Hell, one of the cities, man, you killed a six year old boy, man. You, they killed a six year old brother playing in his yard. I think it was in uh, Kansas City, if I'm not mistaken. They shot up the yard and so they think they was aiming at the older guy. But these niggas let off 20 bullets, then hit the dude they was aiming at, shot the six-year-old boy and killed him. Because that's another thing, you niggas can't aim worth a damn, man. You're always trying to shoot each other and can't damn aim. You hit children, you hit granny, you hit the damn grocery store, you hit the hot dog man, everybody but who you hit aiming at. It's a damn shame, man, because you think you so gangster. You ain't gangster, you a coward and you're self hating That's what it really is. And when a white man bring that funk and that smoke to you, you niggas pissing your pants, man. Read King. The book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 19. Yahweh shall hear and afflict them. So now the Lord has to hear and afflict our enemies. Because leave it up to you niggas, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do, you gonna like it tell you in Isaiah, you lay your body down and you let the enemy just walk all over you. Come on. Even he that abideth the old. Even he that abideth for old God. So on. Because they have no church. So-called white man has no changes, man. It can be the up the, the, the so-called white man. It can be a uh, uh, Jim Crow Joe. Down to the regular so-called average so-called white man on the train. They hate you the same, man. They hate you the same. Like this so-called man, he takes it upon himself and say, I'm just going to choke hold this nigga. We're going to have a 2023 James Floyd, and I'm going to kill this nigga. Damn shame, man. But these curses are still here. And you black, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian, that should be a wake-up call to you. 
he should look at that and say, damn, things have not changed. Something going on. If this system has not changed, then we need to make a change as a people. Because this system hasn't changed. But you know, therefore, they fear not your house. They don't fear the so-called white man don't fear the Lord, man. That's why it allowed fatness to get married. That's why he continued to do what he do to us as a people. Because he don't fear the Lord. They know we're the chosen people. Matter of fact, that's why they do what they do to us. Because they jealous and angry and envious. And they hate our damn guts because we're chosen by the Lord and they're not. That's why they continue to do what they do, but they don't fear the most high, man. They don't fear the Lord. Because if they did, they will order this country according to the commandments of the Bible. They don't fear this, the, the most high, man. They rape, they rob, they murder, they slaughter. And you black, Latino, Native American, and some of the Indian, you allow them to get away with it, man, because you don't fight back. You don't turn to the Lord. You don't turn to the most high so he can be your power and strength and fight against your enemy for you. All you do is turn a blind eye, oh man. It ain't about turning up, it ain't about no money, it ain't about the club, it ain't about getting at these niggas I got beef with. So I, I'm all right, that white boy, yeah, he just killed, he just died, he killed the brother. You just turn a blind eye, that's how you know it's a curse. Because you get less than two deaths. All you niggas supposed to be so hard in New York. Like I said, that, that, that female rapper, that scarlet lip, this ratchet ass trick they dug from under the depths of hell out of the projects up in the Bronx. You so hard and tough. What's up? Bring it to the white man. But no, no, no. You dead. Back the fuck up. Get the fuck out. Back the fuck up. Why? Because you're self hating, man. You're only talking to your own people. When a white man choked the damn life out of you, why are you not telling him to get the F out of New York? Where's the gangsters at then? Well, what's up, gangsters? Where you at? Where you at? I thought you were so tough. But you're not tough when it comes to your fighting for your people, man. You're not tough. So this going to continue on. It's going to continue on, continue on, because you niggas don't do nothing. Read again, kid. I'm going to have to stand up for us. Come on. Psalm, the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 19. Yahweh shall hear and affect them. Even he that abideth the road, selling, because they have no change. This white man is not going to change. Don't be shocked. When I see that, I, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked at all. When, I, when you see that, don't get shocked. This devil going to choke the hell out of you, just like he did during slavery. Right? Isn't that right, neo-Nazi? Uh, isn't that right? Isn't that right, Nazi man? Right? What do you think of that black man that got choked to death in New York? Well, come on, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Back up, back up. Brother, step back. Step back off the sign. Say again? What the hell are you talking about, man? If you don't eat your damn burger in your shape, man, get your ass up out of here, boy. Get your ass up out of here. If you don't eat your damn burger and your shake and get your ass out of here, boy. Get your ass out of here, white boy, and report to the plantation. Get your ass to the plantation. Get on the get your ass to the plantation, boy. Like, right, get out of here. Excuse me? Because all you so-called white men are neo-Nazis, man. You all hate Negroes, you're all the devil at the bottom speaks up, and you're all our enemy. We talked to you before, we know you're racist. You can't hide, man. You can run, but you can't hide. It's just a different day, man. That's all. It's a different day. You're the same devil. You're the same devil. It's just a different day. Excuse me? We are about spreading hate because we learned it from you so-called white people. How do you like that? We learned it from you. We learned it from you. We learned it from you. Give me Psalms 139, 21. We learned the hate from you. You give me um, Hosea 5, 15. We learn the evil and the hatred from you. So we're spreading hate. The white man taught us how to spread it like damn butter. Read you that, gang. Read. Look at Psalms chapter 139, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. Come on, man. Look at them tattoos on your head, man. No five point and star. You a Satanist too? You a Satanist too? Look at them five point and star tattoos on your head, man. You the child of Satan, man. You are the son of the devil that the Bible speaks of. I can see it in your eyes, man. You are Satan that the Bible speaks of. You can't fool me, right? Uh, yo, yeah, you would know about hell. You would be an expert on hell because you're the child of hell, you damn demon, you damn serpent, you damn devil that the Bible speaks of. I see you, Satan. 
I see you, you damn devil. I can look right in your eyes and see you the damn devil. And I know what the hell you're doing to that dog. Read, King. The book of the soul. I know what the hell you're doing to that dog. Right? You can't, listen, you can't slip and slide up here, Satan. Do you hear me? You can't slither and slide up here. Read, King. The book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. The Lord said, do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. God. And am I... And not I grieve with those that rise up against thee. I hate them. I what? I hate them with their perfect hate. Try to slither over to him. Don't try to slither over to him. Don't just try to slither over to him. Read. I hate them. The Lord said, I hate them God. with perfect hatred. With perfect hatred. Come on. I count them my enemy. I count them my enemy. Yo, get, get away from them. Get away from them. Get away from them. Yo, brothers, he, he got to move for the sisters. Get away from them. Get away from them, man. Lay, lay, right? the, lay, lay the sisters alone. Yep, lay the sisters alone. Hey, he said that you're not a neo-Nazi, but you got a tattoo of a German iron cross on your hand. That's the cross of the German military used by the Nazi government. Yes, that's an iron cross. That's not a spiritual sign. That's not, you got nothing but demonic. You got nothing but demonic symbols all over you, man. You got nothing but demonic symbols all over you. Because you're a child and say, just admit who you are, man. Give me second that's only to yourself. You know, we just gonna help him. We gonna help him. We just gonna help him. We just gonna help you, man. That's all. Give me Revelation 12 and 9. Wait, we just going to help you identify yourself as the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. You got the all but, but demonic images on you, man. All right, and don't come near our women, man. Get out of here. The wicked flee when no man pursue, but resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Show your ass out of here, boy. We know who you are. Read 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7, read. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now led it will let. Because Paul was letting us go back then. During that time, the Roman Empire it said the devil was already in power. The mystery of iniquity is already working. God, until he be taken out the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Come on. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The Lord said he will consume you with the spirit of his mouth, the truth of his life. God. Man shall destroy. So destroy you come on. with the brightness of his coming. I'll destroy you with the brightness of your holy shot second coming. All right, that wicked is going to be revealed. Now we know who you are, devil. Don't come up here with them damn serpent eyes. Man I got a, a thousand damn uh, 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 satanic tattoos all over his body. Talking about, I, I, I'm a nice guy. Get out of here, man. You're a pedophile. You, I, I know what the hell you're doing to that dog. I mean, come on, Esau, we know who you are. You're never in the Bible speaks of. Great. And that break dancing not going to get y'all in there. That break dancing not going to get y'all in there. I just watched a couple of black men, and now you think you're down. Right, like, come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. Great dragon was cast out. Come on. That old serpent. That old serpent. Come on. Called the devil. Oh, the devil got And Satan. And Satan got it. Which deceived the whole world. Deceived the whole world, man. You that same old serpent from back in the beginning. The Lord made you the children of the devil from the beginning, man. Right, come on. God. Jump up to uh, 1. Revelation 12 and 1. Read. Book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. The Bible deals with symbolism. Right now, this woman is talking about the nation of Israel. The Bible deals with symbolism. Go ahead. And her, upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with the child, cried, trembling in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. There appeared another wonder in heaven. God. And behold, a great red dragon. Who was that dragon? A great red dragon. So when you read, who, who was that red dragon when you jumped down to verse 9? That was Esau, the devil, the so-called white man. When, the reason why I said a great red dragon, because Esau is different shades of red. So they, they're red because they just finished out breakdancing. Right, so they're a little bit tired now, so they're red. Yeah. You see his shirt is not the color of his face. He's red. You see that? Yeah. Right, his shirt is white, but his face is red. 
You guys just finished break dancing, right? Yeah, see that there, right? They're, they're hyped up, their uh, their their adrenaline is up, their blood is rushing, so you can see the redness in their face. Then they just finished trying to be like Jake. <laughs> like the great man Jack, you can't make this up, man. Be the good for the top, no age of 12 and 3, me. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. Great red dragon, come on. Having seven heads and ten horns. Come down to verse 9. Who is that red dragon? Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. Great dragon was cast out. Come on. That old serpent. That old serpent. Come on. Called the devil. Oh, the devil. Go ahead. And Satan. And Satan. Come on. Which deceived the whole world. He deceived the whole world. How did some little white man deceive the whole world? With the lies. With all the lies that he put out, man. He put out all the lies. All the hypocrisy. He distorted the history books. That's how he put it out. That's how he put it thought. That's that flood that he caused in the earth. But it said the earth would swallow up the flood. Because the truth of the Bible, the archaeology, the history, and the artifacts would come out to back up what we teach it and back up that we're the Israelites. So that's how the, the flood got sucked up, man. But that great red dragon called the devil and Satan was to see the whole world. That's the so-called white man. Because he's the only red man on the planet Earth. Show me a Native American, a so-called Native American that's red. You ain't gonna find one, man. Native Americans come in different shades of brown. Some of you will even confuse and think they're Negro. Because why? They're different shades of brown. The only red man on the earth is a so-called white man. He tricked you with that too. Then he tell you that Asian man is a yellow man. No, a lot of the Asians are him, man. Because they come out of Genghis Khan. A lot of them are, are, are damn white men. And they mix they see. Now you got the original Asians, but a lot of them are so-called white men. Because they come out of the Mongoloids and the different people that was over there, and a lot of them are Edomites that mixed in with them. Right? But the other oh, Asian is the yellow man. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. The Indian is the red man, the Asian is the yellow man. Then there's different shades of brown and there's different shades of pale and red. That's all that's all that's on the earth, man. Different shades of brown or different shades of pale or damn red, man. Like the so-called white man. So that's who John is identifying in the Bible. You know who you are, devil. You can't, you can't hide from us. The scriptures say you will be revealed. By right, give me uh, Baruch. Give me the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. All right, give me Baruch chapter four. The Bible will identify you as being the devil. Matter of fact, you give me uh, Revelation 2 and 10 first. Give Revelation 2 and 10 first. The Bible will reveal you to be the devil. You know. All we gotta do is go through the scriptures, get the clues up, and somebody so go white man. But read that case so like the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Go ahead. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, and that ye may be tied, and ye shall be tribulation ten days. You shall have tribulation ten days, go ahead. Be thou faithful unto death. Be faithful unto death. Come on. And I will give thee a crown of life. Yeah, Christ said, listen, man, if you give your life for this truth, I'll give you a crown, man. But he said, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Whose court system are we under right now? We under the so-called white man's court system, man. You black, Latino, Native American, and Central Indian, even if you got, they throw a, a black mayor. Like in, in New York, they throw a black mayor and black police commissioner to throw you off. So now when they come with the damn dog robots this summer, they can say, your nigga mayor sick the dogs on you. Your nigga police commissioner, they sick the robot dogs on you. You can't blame it on us. That's what they're going to come with now, man. They, they, they throw a puppet up there. Yeah, throw, throw a puppet up there. You can close your ears on you want, devil. You can close your ears on you want. You ain't going to stop the truth. You ain't going to stop the truth from coming out. Now, you can close your ears all you want. The truth won't come out whether you like it, understand, accept it, believe it or not. Right? You want to cover your ears, you know why? Because the so-called black man is not up here. We're not up here shucking and jogging. We're not up here cooning and buffooning. So you can shut your ears all you want, devil. Because we're not up here tap dancing and being there fiddler on the roof for you. 
But we're not playing a banjo, right, and say, yes, the doctor. So you gotta close your ears. Because Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, we stand it up now. And now since we're standing up, oh, you wanna shut your ears. No, no, I don't wanna hear what they gotta say. Like they're teaching lies, oh, that's lies. Right, Christ loves me too. No, you should have thought about that. When you was hanging Christ on the damn cross, the Roman, the Romans was hanging the Messiah on the cross, you should have thought about him loving you. But no, right, you have to be evil and wicked. Then you want to blame it on our people, but you still carry out the action. You're saying, oh, there's blood be upon you and your children. Yeah, the Lord said, I'm going to get y'all, I'm going to get my people too. But I'm going to get you devils that hung them and lynched them. Give me Revelation 1 and 7. We'll need a few more and start packing it up. All right, give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. Read that, kid. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And he is the Messiah. Hamashiach and Hamashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Good. And every eye shall see him. Every eye is going to see the Messiah when he makes the second coming. Good. And they also... Which shall pierce him and those Roman so soldiers that pierced him. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye is going to witness the second coming of Mashiach. You ain't getting around it, man. You ain't getting around it. You're going to see. Because you crucified him, you killed him, you betrayed him, you crucified him a second time, in this time, in this day and age. Like I can tell you, we read earlier in Revelation 11, where also our Lord was crucified. You crucified him through the fake images you put up. Like the brother was bringing out the Caesar boy Jairus and all the images you put up. You crucified him by defaming him. Hell, you crucified him by, by putting yourself up. Give me a Matthew 24 and 5. You got people like David Koresh that said that they was Messiah, the Messiah. You got guys like Dr. York that said he got 720 degrees of knowledge. He can answer any question. You get, you get saved through him. Like a predicted predicted the, the uh, chariots coming on three different occasions and was wrong each time. Right? Yeah, man. You got all these guys, man. All these guys, these fake messiahs. Marshall Applewake, the Heaven's Gate Cult. All right, drink some damn Kool-Aid or whatever. Uh, Jim Jones. Right? Uh, drink, <laughs> I'm, I'm mixing them up. Uh, Marshall Applewake. The man told everybody to buy a pair of Nikes, right, and take their Nikes off Drink this poison and put the Nikes in your bed and you're going to go to heaven. When you wake up, you'll be in heaven. Yeah, uh, Marshall Applewhite, the Heaven's Gate Cult. Yeah, where that was? David Koresh. Yeah, wake, Wacko, Wacko, Texas. David Koresh. You ain't David of nothing, man. And he was trying to say he was David out of the Bible. But you ain't David nothing, man. You the son of Satan, man. That's what you are, man. But all these guys, man, put, uh, uh, Yahweh been Yahweh. All these guys put themselves up like Messiah figures and what the Lord killed every single one of them. Destroyed every he either destroyed or killed every single one of them. Matthew 24 and 5. Read, King. The book of Matthew. Yeah. Oh, 24 and 5. Well, yeah, I mean, every time you turn around, it's it's some some Hebrew of the truth saying he's the Messiah. All right, I don't even entertain them guys, man. Nigga, if you're the Messiah, get me up out of here. I don't want to talk about nothing until you put me on a chariot. I don't even want to debate with you because it's a waste of time. If you're the Messiah, get us the hell out of here. Read, kid. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 5. But when's going to stop? Where you coming from, Satan? From going to and fro and up and down to the earth? Trying to pick up some boys for the night? Huh? You're trying to pick up some boys for the night, right? Yeah. You see who's available? Right? You're checking your phone, see who's available? Right, meet me on Hollywood and Highland, right, for a good time with Jerry. For a good time with Jerry, meet me on Hollywood and Highland. You can see the pervert on him, man. You can see it. You can see, you can see the pervert on him, man. You can see it. Right, yeah, yeah, the man, you can see the pervert on him, man. Right, for a good time, come link up with Jerry. You some sick bastards, you so-called white people, man. Get, get real quick, give me Hebrews 12, 16. We're going to get the one you got, but give me Hebrews 12. You can see, come on, y'all, I'm not just making this up. You can see the perversion on him, man. You can see he's perverted as hell. Going to and fro and up and down, just like Satan, man. Trying to catch up to some little boys, man. 
Well, so at least some teenagers. Read, kid. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator. Lest there be any fornicator, God. A profane person. A profane person, God. As Esau. As who? As Esau. Esau, the biblical name for the so-called white man, God. Who for one morsel of meat. One morsel of meat, God. Sold his birthright. He did what? Sold his birthright. Sold his birthright unto his brother Jacob. We got the blessing. And that's what we try to tell our people out here. We mainly come out here for you, Israel. We have a little fun with these devils, man, but they're, they're just props. They're props for the movie set. We're really out here to reach our people, but we got to break through the damn demon to try to get to you. Right, come on. For ye know how to act You know how to act good. Well, when he would have inherited the blessing. When he would have inherited the blessing. Come on. He was rejected. He was rejected, God. For he found no place of repentance. God. No, he saw it carefully with tears. He cried before the Most High, man. He can't receive salvation. But the Lord said, he's a fornicator, a sexual deviant. You can get a spiritual man. You can just see the perversion fall up and down on Esau, man. You can see it in his flesh, his spirit, the look in his eyes. You can see the perversion on him, man. We know who you are. And in these last days, the spirit is getting stronger. So the most high is giving us the discernment right away. We see you devil just perverting on damn Hollywood Boulevard. Read, King. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 5. For many shall come in my name. And many shall come in my name. Yahweh ben Yahweh. I'm God, son of God. But right, that's a, a modern Hebrew for Yahweh is the most high. Ben is son, Yahweh is son again. I'm God, son of God. By Dr. Malachi Z. York, I got not 360, 720 degrees of knowledge. I can answer any question, and any man on the earth, any man on the planet earth that tell you they can answer any question is a damn liar and the truth is not in them. Because I can ask them something that they're not going to be able to answer. That's a damn lie. Read, King. Uh, I am Yahweh, sir. And shall deceive many. So you're going to deceive many. Like Marshall Applewhite, like Jim Jones. Got these people to join their coach and actually kill themselves. But like this man, how does it you let a man tell you to buy a pair of Nike shoes? No, matter of fact, he said, lay in the bed with the Nike shoes on, kill yourself, and you're gonna uh, you're gonna fly like the Greek god. I mean, man just has some wild doctrine, and you're gonna meet in with the, the Lord in heaven. But you gotta, you gotta have the Nikes on when you kill yourself. The Nikes will give you wings to fly and go up to heaven. And the people did it. And of course, it was some of our people. Part of this cycle. And when you look at Marshall Applewhite, that, that cracker looked bugged out, man. That cracker list, I was all but That's what you want to follow, man. David Koresh, Waco, Texas. Now you had this, this, uh, uh that we had a compound set up and said, as long as you make it in here, you in the kingdom of heaven. You in heaven. Your compound got blown up by the damn FBI, man. They ran up in there and blew the whole damn thing up. So much for David Koresh, his damn uh, compound being the kingdom of heaven. You know what the kingdom of heaven is? This Bible, man. Give me, matter of fact, give me that. Give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 20. The kingdom of heaven is this Bible, man. That's the secret. That's some nut case telling you, as long as you make it into this compound, you in heaven. Uh, put on this pair of Nikes and kill yourself, and you're going to meet the Lord in the air. Read, kid. God. Uh, uh, Matthew 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's what you're hearing now, man. You're hearing the wars and rumors of wars. But didn't Vladimir Putin, they said, said they tried to do a drone attack on the Kremlin, and Russia is taking that as an assassination attempt on Vladimir Putin. And Vladimir Putin said that's an act of war. He believes he, he, <laughs> he believes that the United States and Ukraine got together and they tried to do a drone strike on the Kremlin and assassinate him. They, they got the video and everything. That, uh, the drone blew up right before it landed on the Kremlin, but they said that was an assassination attempt. And that was probably them. They probably was drunk off a damn vodka and playing with their own damn drums. And it blew the hell up. And they said that's Russia and America trying to kill them. Right? Or oh, maybe. Maybe it was a test run. I don't know. But they claimed it was an act. That's an act of war. You try to assassinate a president of a country, that's an automatic act of war. 
They weren't even there at the time. They weren't even there at the time, yeah. But they still taking it as an assassination attempt. He said, what if I was there? You tried to kill me with a drone. Right, Green? The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom. Therefore, the desire of wisdom. God, Bring it to a king. That's what brings you to the kingdom, man. Desire of wisdom. Because what did the Lord say in Isaiah 33 and 6? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So the desire of wisdom is going to lead you to the Most High, to keep his commandments, to live according to the law, so when your house shall come, he'll deliver you and bring you into the kingdom. Right? Not no damn David Koresh or Marshall Applewaite. Put on a pair of Nikes and you'll make it to heaven. Or come make your way into this compound, you bring all your possessions, and now you in heaven. The desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom, brings to the kingdom of heaven. And Nike is a fake Greek god. Right, right, that's a fake Greek god. Right. Who just came out with the picture showing the guy? Yeah, yeah, I saw that on Instagram the other day. Yeah, he came out with the Russian icon. Um, show that on the camera. Uh, Putin came out with the Russian icon the other day showing that uh, Yahawashah is black. But they got all that over in the, uh, the, the churches and the basilicas in, uh, over in Russia. They got all that still on the wall. The and the interesting stuff, a, a lot of them, a lot of them, they'll tell you, they won't really come out and say it, but they keep the images up so they think they're gonna get a blessing because they know that we are the true children of the Most High. Man. So they keep the images up thinking that that will bless their land. Right, but he just came up with that, with a, a, a black image of your shot. Yeah, that was set out on Instagram the other day. Show it on the camera, you show it on the camera. the truth. Yeah, they know the truth, man. That's why, give me, um, give me Psalms 85 and 11 real quick. That's why we read that earlier. We, we gonna read it again, well, we, we quoted it earlier, but we gonna read it now. That's the earth helping a woman in Revelation 12. That's the earth helping a woman by what? By way of the scriptures, archeology, span you know, different artifacts, history, that's the earth help of the woman. The languages, that's all the earth help of the woman. Go ahead. Psalms 85, verse 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth. That's truth springing out of the earth. The, the artifacts, the archaeology. Right, come on. And righteousness, and righteousness shall live down from heaven. And the Most High has given us the knowledge. He's given us the understanding of the word. Like Solomon did. Remember Solomon said, Lord, give me an understanding of heart. So the truth is coming out of the earth and the righteousness is coming down from heaven. So the Lord has given us the inspiration and the knowledge of the word and the artifacts and the history of archaeology is coming out, helping us to show the true images. Right? Yahweh Shai and the Most High are men of color. And if you don't like it, so damn, too damn bad, man. Too damn bad. In slavery, they taught our ancestors that God and Christ were white. So that's why when you was young, and you looked up at that image, that white, that blue eye, this devil image right here was on the wall in all of our houses. And he said, Mommy, Daddy, who's that? They said, Well, that's God. They didn't even say it was Christ. They said, That's God. Because we're from slavery, it was put in our mind of our ancestors. You niggas gonna be beaten into submission to accept this false image right here. And then you're gonna teach it to your children. So now the reversal in 2023, the Lord got our enemy even coming out saying, Hey, Jesus Christ is a black man. Everybody think Vladimir Putin is bugged out. He ain't that bugged out. He not that bugged out. He's showing that Christ is black. Give me Revelation 1. You know what I want. Let's just get it. We got to get it for old time's sake. Revelation 1 and 1. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh gave unto him. The revelation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach with the most which the most I gave unto him, God, to show upon uh, unto his servants, show unto his servants, God, things which must surely come to pass. Come down to uh, 13. The book of Revelation chapter 1 and 13. Okay. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. The son of Man is uh, Yahweh Shah, whom the world immediately calls Jesus Christ. Right, God, clothed with the garment down to the foot. Christ had on a garment down to the foot, like sometimes you see us wearing, but sometimes we wear shirts with the fringes, but he had a garment down to the foot. Go ahead. And girth about the paps. Paps area, go ahead. With the golden girdle. Go ahead. His head and his hairs 
were white like wolves. Said Christ had woolly hair, which is a characteristic of Negroes. Of had that kinky hair, that woolly hair, that so-called nappy hair, right? Whatever you want to call it, that's the uh, hair texture that the Messiah had. Come on, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet were like unto fine brass. His feet were like unto fine brass. That as if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, what color is it going to get? Dark, right? Uh, So-called what society calls black or different shades of brown or dark. Moreno, right? That's what they call it. Dark skin. He was not a Caucasian man, a man void of color. Right, when you read the Bible, Christ was a so-called black man. And if you say color don't matter, then nothing matters on this damn earth then. Then nothing matter. Nothing matter. Tell the police or the guy that robbed me, color don't matter, but I hope you catch him. You know, well, what does the guy look like? Oh, color don't matter. Uh, just go catch him, please. Well, sir, we don't, man, we don't have a description. How are we going to find somebody we don't know what they look like? That's one of the first things the police will ask you. What was the guy's national? Was he white? Was he black? Was he Caucasian? Was he black? Was he Hispanic? What did he look like? And they're going to determine the different shape. Even if you say, well, he's black. What shape? What, was he a lighter skinned black man or dark skin? He was white. Oh, oh, he's a pale man. Right. Pale yeah, man, you know that. All right, but tell them this. What do you mean it don't matter? It does matter because the description is in the Bible. Right, so now you got Vladimir Putin coming out showing you Yahweh Shah Hamashiach was a black man. But Hashem Hamashiach, Yahweh Right, not this damn devil right here, this false image, man. Right, who changed the truth of God into a lie? You devils did it. So we tell you black, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian, you ain't got to go out being choked on a damn subway by a white supremacist. You are the kings of the earth, man. Come back to your true identity and nationality. Have that ruling class royal mentality and the Lord will start treating you and protecting you as such. Man. See, the brother, man, the brother went out, he, he was a martyr, another martyr. Jordan Neely. The Lord said, I'm going to keep letting this happen until you Negroes wake up. And if you don't wake up, this is going to be your fate and your end. Your ass will get choked to death by this white devil that loves to hate you so much, man. And you don't want to wake up. Give me the uh, classic, Ezekiel 35 and 5. I'm going to have this devil choke you to death. Now, where are all the warriors in the hood? Where are you brothers to stand up against these white supremacists? Or you just want to go do a damn drive-by somewhere and kill your own? Where you at, man? You know where to be found when there's real stuff going on. When it's real warfare. This is real warfare. Go find that devil in New York and kill his ass. Don't let his ass down. Do a drive-by on him. Pull out the chopper on him. Shoot at him 20 times like you dumb niggas did in, in uh, uh, Kansas City. And kill the six-year-old young brother, man. Have that same energy for this devil that choked your brother to death. Right? But it's quiet. It's quiet as a damn church mouse, man. Quiet as a church mouse. Where's the same energy? You don't have it, man. Because you don't have that rooted class mentality. You got that slave mentality. Let me kill this nigga because he looked like me. Why? Because master taught me that way. Master taught me the art of self-hatred. You better repent and come back to these laws, man. Who got it? Read that, King. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. Perpetual hatred. That's where they choked the hell out of you in May of 2023. Wasn't George Floyd in May of 2020? He was in May also, right? Yeah. Right, that's why they choked the hell out of you three years later. You get the same goddamn treatment, man. Right, come on. And I shed the blood of the children of Israel. It's worse because uh, this brother was in a chokehold for 15 minutes. George Floyd was supposedly, what, nine minutes? Seven, nine, eight, whatever, 11, all types of numbers. But this, this devil had the brother in a chokehold for 15 minutes, man. Had him in that chokehold. So they said, listen, we just going... Suffocate you niggas longer, man. That's all. And it's not but a modern day lynching. Didn't they, uh, the sister, didn't they hang the sister Sandra Bland? They hung her in that Texas jail, man. Talking about she tried to kill herself and, you know, we found her the next one. You hung that sister, man. Good old Texas, we are here, don't even need to hear nothing. That was a damn lynching, man. And you black, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian, man, you still ain't do a damn thing. They kill your women. 
and you don't do a damn thing. You just let them walk all over you like the book Isaiah says. Read, King. And, and I shed the blood of the children of Israel. They continually shed our people's blood, man. But when you choke and stuff, man, a lot of times you start bleeding from the mouth. You know, blood start coming out your mouth, man. Yeah. Right? Damn shame, man. And like I said, man, we, we seen that. We know that, brother, man. We seen that brother for years. He used to do the uh, Michael Jackson impersonations. All right, and choke the brother. The brother must have fell on hard times. You know, probably had some mental issues going on. Right? Things of that nature, you know. And, and the brother just fell on, you know, hard times, I guess. You know, he couldn't get out there. Not mocking the brother, but, hell, get out there and act like Michael Jackson again, man, and make some money so you can get you some food, a little cheap room or something. But the brother must have fell on hard times, start bugging out. And now the so-called white man takes it upon, he takes it upon himself to choke the hell out of the brother. Because he's asking for food and he's weary, so he's a threat. I'm just going to choke this nigga for 15 minutes and choke all the life out of him. And what happens? Our people do nothing, man. You got to have a bunch of goddamn uh, uh, wannabe liberal crackers come out there and protest for you. Damn shame, man. But right, come on. By the force of the sword. By what? By the force of the sword. By the force of the sword, God. In the time of their calamity. Time of their calamity, God. In the time that their iniquity had an end. That's what you're doing, man. You have a perpetual hatred against our people, man. And you shed their blood. You niggas getting choked in 2023 again. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. But guess what? The Lord said he was going to do this to you because you don't want to repent and come back to these commandments. So, hey. All right, hey. Continue going through it. Continue going through the affliction. But as for me and our house, we're going to serve the Lord. Keep these commandments and stay away from that. But the Lord said, I'm going to continue to show you these curses right in your face. As I'm waking up a remnant of y'all, as I'm waking up a portion of y'all, I'm going to continue to show you these curses, man. And that's what's going on. So you better wake up, Israel. Repent. The time is at hand. America's going to be burned to a damn nuclear crisp. And you got to wake up and come back to these laws, statutes, and commands. Do that or do nuclear fire. Choose your, choose your, pick your poison, like they say. Pick your poison. Which one you want, man? You going to come back to these laws or you going to eat a damn nuclear missile, man? Which one? Or you gonna be choked to death? Or you gonna be in a concentration camp? Or you gonna get jacked up in these race wars? Listen, man, when these race wars break out, these devils not playing no games with you, nigga. They're not playing no games. They gonna unleash all their fury and anger on our people. And if the Lord is not with you in that day, you gonna be fooled, like they say in the hood, man. You gonna be fooled. So now, pick, make your choice, man. Come back to the Lord and get that hedge of angels around you to protect you or stay with America and die. Right? What's your choice, man? Which one are you going to choose? Because the top, the clock is ticking, man. The clock is ticking. Let's close with that, matter of fact. Romans 13, 11. The clock is ticking. The clock of salvation is ticking. But you want to stay with Babylon, you're going to die with Babylon. Read, King. The book of Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that... Knowing the time, uh, knowing the time, that, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time to wake up out of sleep, that. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe, that. The night is far spent. The night is far spent, come on. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. That's when it's time. It's high time. All the prophecies are starting to happen and speed up. They're going to speed up more. But it's high time, man. Right? It's high time to wake out of sleep and come back for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So if you want America, be my guest. Stay with America. Stay here. Die with this society. Fall with the so-called white man. Get burnt up. Get choked to death. Whatever the hell. Starve to death. Get on a concentration camp. Get tortured to death. Whatever, man, get caught up by, with these white supremacists and these race wars and get tortured and killed and decapitated or come back to the Lord and get that spiritual power and that hedge of angels around you to protect you in these last days. Right, so with that, death and destruction to Esau and the nations, power, peace, safety, and the kingdom of heaven to the 12 tribes of Israel forever and ever, man. Kwame Ashala, we still got next, hallelujah. Hollywood and Highland, we'll be back out here to continue to get this good word for Evan of our month. Shout out to Wayne!
Shalom. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom up Israel, all praise to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That concludes our camp tonight on uh, Salakia, Hollywood and Highland, LA, HOI, Los Angeles. Kwame Shalom, we still got next. Hallelujah. Bring it out on the camps of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Hope y'all got edified. If y'all learned one thing tonight, we've done our job. All praise to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai forever and ever. Amen. Um, continue to get this good word, Israel. Kwame Shalom. Shalom. Heading back to the east, but wherever I'm at, the word gonna go out. Quite a minute, Shalom. Shalom.